I have reviewed the Greg Berhalter coaching clips from the group stage of the Gold Cup and broken them into seven main categories. Uh, the first is observing. Uh, this is probably the least interesting of the type of Greg Berhalter clips we're going to see. Good engagement here in terms of shifting his gaze. You can take in more inf information that way. This is all pretty basic stuff, but it is the foundation we're building the rest of it off of. So I wanted to make sure to give it enough attention. Good anticipatory rocking there. We'll get into the next one, which is giving direction was obviously huge. Sometimes the player will be next to him. Uh, a lot of times that's not possible, though. So we'll have to uh, uh, speak his directions more loudly across distance, often beginning to use more uh, dynamic hand motions here. The palm push point wag to a turned wave. Most of the action's in the, actually in the fingers on this one. He'll mix it in there. Again, fingers. He's do it either hand. And then, then a bunch of arm. And then here's, that's a more complex one. It's two palms coming together. It's compact. Get compact. And then there's the on the ball stuff. That's just, that's about Berhalter staying active in the game, which he's very good at. That's the loose touch. He needs to take that on his right foot. Nah, don't stress, stretch the left leg over there. Unfortunately, they cut away from this. I would have liked to see where he was going there. Uh, and then I've, I've talked about this a lot. I do not like the bounce pass here, particularly on this one. I mean, I, I, I can see what he's doing. He's calling the play over, and he's trying to do a very early bounce, but the attack angle on that ball it just doesn't work. And look, he has, the player has to kneel down across there. I don't like the technique. He's dead set on it. If he's going to do it, I just want to see more consistency. He seems to stay pretty well hydrated, and his form is in within kind of the normal range. Here. One thing, he tends to get distracted while he's drinking and go back to giving directions. I say take a moment for yourself and just drink the water. The game will be there when you when you come back to it. Thing I'll note, and this is relatively common, it, it does appear he's putting his top teeth over just the first ridge of the water bottle mouth, uh, which plenty of people do. Um, and I think it's fine. Getting a little behind here, we could probably do a, a full video on the water bottle stuff. Uh, encouragement, you see, you see it put the hand on the back of the player just before they come into the game. That's something a lot of uh, coaches in this new generation are doing. Just a little nuance that's coming back. Yes, it's cyclical. We saw it before, but it is very much on the way back. And then we have protesting. It's not a big part of his game, um, but he can do it when need be. You actually saw me kind of lost his balance back there. Just a little bit. It's subtle, but it can be better for sure. He's not the most natural celebrator, but soccer's about fun, and he gets that. Normally what he'll go with is the two-fisted um, pump. He's capable of the one fist. I don't know. I don't know what. He sometimes do this shirt lift here. I don't know what that's about. There's the one-fisted. He'll go left on that. But in the big moments, it's always back to the two-fisted for him. That's it. I hope you got something out of that.